I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this shield business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker, this is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Ah, oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. Then let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. Well... Without the ship, we'd be in a lot of trouble. So... Anybody ever choose the ship when you asked? I can't say that they have. The truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive. Or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 63. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 63 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He can appear as a man, or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. Good, but that's just the first step. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools. And he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he knows that the Takan have returned? He didn't even know they were gone when we went there. But the moment the Enterprise dropped into orbit around Delphi Ardu 4, he downloaded the entirety of the ship's computer. So I'd expect the same when you get there. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these to con ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the Takan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division in Starfleet Tactical. Devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me. This isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. You're not the only one who's met the Takan anymore. We've faced them in combat. We're not just the right ones for the job. We're the only ones. All right. Asked and answered. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns. But I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. For Marcus Aurelius. Anything else? Machiavelli? Your advice is well taken, Captain Riker. No matter what he throws at us, we'll stand up to this Takan Guardian. I'm sure you will. Rest assured, the 
Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that the Khan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious. Which is why I'm asking. We have our best people sorting it out. It's under control. Okay. If I may, I recommend you keep Starfleet Command looped in very closely on that matter. There's a lot riding on this. And if it comes to it, the Titan and I will be ready to personally lend a hand in this fight. Let's hope it doesn't get that far. Riker out. <sighs> Thank you for not getting too specific with Riker about the data breach. Better we handle this ourselves, without all of Starfleet hearing about it. What I don't understand is why you'd keep it from him. If you're going to tell Ambassador Spock, what's the difference? This information will send a shockwave through the entire fleet. I'm sure Spock will agree. It should be compartmentalized on a strictly need-to-know basis. I have more research to do. So do you. I'm sure the ship's computer has Sun Tzu and its library. Dismissed.